All right, YouTube, back in another video. And today is gonna be a quick video, not too long, just explaining where to cut on a Chevy Avalanche to replace the fuel pump without dropping the tank. Because if you know, the truck is a two, it's not a two piece truck. It's one piece, there's no bed, it's all one thing. So it's not like an ordinary truck where you just cut a hole in the bed or pull the bed off instead of dropping the tank. It's not like that. So there's a very specific spot inside the cab of the truck you need to cut to be able to access the fuel pump. Let me flip the camera around and show you where that's at. Okay, so we are on the driver's side of the truck, back door. You see I have a square already cut out. See, it's obviously flipped up. So these are very specific, not very, but should be uh, really close. So I cut from this side, kind of this hole right here. Imagine that as the center of where the fuel pump is inside of here, okay? So there's a circle. Imagine that's the center. So from the middle over should be about nine and a half, 10 inches is what I cut. I think nine and a half inches over, nine and a half inches wide, I think. what I do? Oh, I might've done 10 inches wide. Nine to 10 inches wide with this being your center point. So obviously four inches, four and a half inches this way, four and a half inches that way, or five, five, depending how much. More, bigger you cut, the bigger hole, but I'll show you once I open this up, there's pieces of metal you have to watch out for. And then obviously it is nine inches wide or so. I cut the carpet slightly bigger than my hole just so I have more room to cut. And then from where it creases back here is about nine to 10 inches. So you can, I cut the carpet this way, so I can roll it up and it held back here, out of the way. And you can see I made my cuts, about nine inches. This is nine inches, nine inches back, nine inches away from the edge of this, with this being your center point. Okay, now when I go to peel this up, it's gonna be kind of hard, especially because these ripples are, you know, the corrugated part makes it a little stronger to bend. So I just got my screwdriver in there, pried it up, and then I was able to get my hand in here, and pull it up, and there's your fuel pump. Plenty of room to actually get in here, and I've already taken it out, so, you know, get your lines off, and you build a spin, and you gotta tank the fuel pump and kinda turn it a little bit to pull it out, but it's very easy to access this way. Okay, so the pieces of metal I were talking about, if you cut, make it too wide, is right here. So there's a piece that kind of goes down both sides right here. So that kind of down here and here. I just barely caught it. So I had to just cut it a little bit and, you know, bend it all up out of the way. What? It's not, it's gonna be just fine. I'm not worried about it one bit. Cause when I go to screw this back down, I'm just going to push this back down to a brittle spot. It cut like a two inch, by like one inch pieces of metal. Slide it up under here, self tapper, self tapper to hold it down. Probably just do four or five of them all the way around probably three here one on the side just hold it on lay the carpet back down and it'll be just fine because obviously seats fold down you'll never know what's even happened right there but yeah on the chevy avalanche it is possible to do the tank or the fuel pump without dropping the tank it is uh about three hours of work saved trying to drop the tank and all that so if you care about the underside of your seats and all that and have stuff under there i would not do it i'll drop the tank but if you don't care like me i don't really care cut it all out just fine remember nine inches off that door trim and about a nine by nine square with that uh hole on the bracket your seat bracket being like the center point of where the fuel pump is it's not perfect but it is perfect enough for where it needs to be but i did just want to make this video to like inform some other people because i was curious and i really didn't want to drop the tank it's a lot of work and less work i have to do for this way better but Make this video to show the other people that it is e easy to do and it's possible. And around that crack or that cut I made, I'm gonna put some silicone or some type of gasket material to seal it off. So, uh, you know, the gas fumes aren't coming in the truck and, you know, putting people in danger with the smell and everything else that could possibly happen. But I just wanna make this video to help other people out. Um, next couple of videos will be about my car and uh, some painting videos coming soon. So hope, you guys, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.